Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Foxy Dude 98 here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of my F1 2019 mod career mode for you guys today here on the channel. Today, we're here for Bahrain, which is round number two. And uh, if you haven't seen the last episode yet, it was the first episode of this career mode. Be sure to go check that one out before you come and watch this one. But today, we are here uh, for the Bahrain Grand Prix. And uh, we are getting ready. We've got no upgrades on the car, obviously. We're not eligible to get anything on the car. Uh, this time period so obviously we're just uh, working without and as you can see no one has made upgrades so come China we will start to see some upgrades being put on the car but um, yeah we're getting straight into things and uh, for this episode as well I have changed it so that it is a full qualifying session now so we will have a Q1, Q2, Q3 uh, standard um, obviously but um, that depends if we make it through of course Bahrain are known for having very OP AIs but I do like this track a lot so it's, it's a lot of fun to drive so uh, We'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see and, and get on how we do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the practice programs, e.g. just the track climatization and the um, flying lap one. Try and get some resource points in the bag so we can have a get the R&D progress rolling. Because in the last episode, we didn't actually get any, so we really did lack. All right, so we are here for qualifying now uh, for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Um, and uh, my biggest problem is, is I can't seem to get a lap together. Because of the screen freezes, that's literally what it is. I just can't get a lap together. I get so distracted with these little mini screen freezes that happen about, literally, it's probably about two or three times a lap. It's just ridiculous how often they come about. And it really is distracting. Or we'll couple that with a rubbish car as well, but still. First lap, 1.9 off the pace. Slowest of all. Oh, this is going to be a tough... Tough start to the season. This one is Gasly goes quickest now in the Red Bull. That's annoying. All right. There's still pl He's gone quickest on the soft tires. That's an even bigger kick in the teeth as Verstappen now goes faster. There's more time to be gained, and I know where to gain it, but it's whether I can do it. This lap's not going to be enough. I don't think that's even going to get me up P20. No, it doesn't. It's the bloody screen freezes. It's always in the corners. And as I'm mid-corner, like there, as it just froze on my screen then, mid-corner, I cannot do anything when I'm... It's also in a braking zone as well. And then I just... I've lost that time frame. It's so frustrating. Anyway, Hamilton gets pole position ahead of Vettel and Charles Leclerc. Bottas gets P4. Then it's the two Red Bulls. Uh, next, followed by Hulkenberg, Ricardo, Sainz, Magnussen, and then Raikkonen, P12. Great job from him. Stroll uh, next ahead of Grosjean and Perez. And then it's Kvyat, Kubica, Stroll, Albert, and then myself. Just rubbish, to be honest. Absolutely rubbish. All right, so we're on the grid here to start the Bahrain Grand Prix. And, uh, yep, casual, uh, casual one-stop, obviously. Nothing's going to change on that end. Uh, but we are starting from, well, back at the grid again. So, let's get ready then for the five lights. Uh, let's just see what we can do in this race. Not a good start as we had in Australia. But there's a great braking zone for me to nick some places into turn one. And it comes now. Verstappen's involved in this. Stroll's taking some damage on his front wing end plate. Well, that's already us up into P13. Who, need, who needs to qualify well when you can just do this? It's brilliant. And I'm already up into P11. Just like that. Who needs who needs qualifying? <sighs> just give me a nice corner to go down the inside of them. Do you want me to do it again? Sure. There you go. Next on my hit list is Magnussen. Get a nice turn on in here. Ah, oh, no, nah, I got too much curb. I might very good to get Ricardo, though. That's not, because he's going to switch Magnuson. Nah. What a sensational first lap. From P20 on the grid, I'm already in the points. And I've got an easy run here on Ricardo. Oh, yellow flag, I don't think I'm, gonna be, I'm not allowed to do it, am I? Nah. 
Got to wait. Gazzy's got a problem. Gazzy's out of the Grand Prix. That's a big one there for Red Bull. Grosjean now trying to get onto the back of me as the virtual safety car comes out now. I should probably not go that super deep. Let's get the place back to Danny. That's frustrating, actually. I know Gasly retiring has given me a place, but I was easily going to make an attack on Ricardo. That's so annoying. That's enemy as well. Kevin Magnussen's having a go at Mr. Hulkenberg up in front. That might just pave my way to come through and have some fun. I have got Grosjean on my back, though. I've got Verstappen on my back as well. But I'm trying to stay away from them all. That was a bit of a panic. Then I didn't. I had a screen freeze and I didn't know when I was braking. Gotta be careful. The staff still alongside me. Magnussen and Grosjean and Hulkenberg going to fight. I wonder if I can try and sneak up the inside of the pair of them. Of course I can. Why not? Don't wonder. Just do it. I mean, if you're racing online, don't you know? Take your time and consider it. When you're racing against the AIs, just do it. You'll get it done. And now I can pull away. We'll try anyway. I think Hulkenberg's got damage because he's just not really that quick. He must have damage, surely. Yeah, there it is. Look, Hulkenberg's got damage to his end plate. He must have made contact with Ricardo. That's a much clearer angle. You can see it there. He's missing his end plate. And he's just holding up the pack. No doubt that by the time they get to the back of me and Ricardo, or oh, sorry, they get on the, they get past um, what's it called? They get past Hulkenberg. They'll be right on the back of me and Rick. But for now, though, one thirty-one point nine is not a bad lap to be setting. They're nowhere near my gearbox right now. They are a good three seconds back still. So the time that they lost behind Hulkenberg, they've not gained it back. Look, it's what? It's 3.3. I've just gained a tenth in the middle sector. I'm still pulling away. But I am coming into the pits this lap. My scheduled pit lap is a lap uh, later. But there's two things. Oh, Ricardo's going to respond to me. Cheeky. Okay, so Ricardo responds to my pit lap. Um, two things. Firstly... I don't want to get held up in the pits. That's my biggest concern. So I'm at the end of the pit lane. Honestly, Ricardo shouldn't get in, in, in the way here. He's not going to get held up by anyone. I shouldn't get held up by anyone. I'm coming in a lap earlier. Some front wing being changed there for one of the McLarens. So there's really a couple of problems with some cars then, it seems. Um, I actually thought I was doing the undercut. It appears not. It looks like these guys are, gonna, these guys are stopping early. I'm stopping earlier compared to what my scheduled pit lap was. Um, but that's because I wanted to try and limit myself being held up. Little did I realise, but obviously the Sauber garage at the end of the pit lane, and it wouldn't, I wouldn't actually have gotten held up if I stayed out a little longer. But with Ricardo on fresh tyres, obviously it'd be nice to try and stay on the back of him. I'm in a bit of a lonely Grand Prix right now. Um... New personal best lap of 131.1, which is great. Uh, I got Ricardo three and a half seconds clear out front uh, in terms of like the gap between me and him. And then Stroll is still a good four seconds back, where in fact himself and Grosjean are fighting. And around Bahrain, if you fight loads, you really do cost each other a hell of a lot of time just to. It's just because of how the AIs react. That's their thing. And I saw 3.6 back, look. The comparison between Australia and, and here is massive. Around Australia, I had no pace. I was defending every single lap. Losing time every single lap. Like, I had nothing in the bag over the other guys. Whereas here... I've got everything to just work with. The car's just working. I'm able to just tweak it through the corners. And I have made this car. I've just, I'm not saying this is the reason why. But I've made a completely different setup change. Uh, to what I normally do. I've made the car so it's extremely over-seery. Um, 
And I don't normally do that, but with the car... One of the McLarens has got a puncture of some sort. There's a uh, McLaren on the straight towards turn four. He's okay now, actually. He's, he's all right, actually, now that he's just got back going again. I'm going to see if I can try and find out what's going on with that McLaren. Oh, he's just gone off. So he's made contact earlier on with one of the Renaults. He's just had a problem. He's lost a bit of his end plate as well. And, yeah, he just gets back on again. He has lost part of his end plate, though. Yeah, so... Oh, okay. Problems for science. Meanwhile, in terms of the battle between myself and Grosjean and Stroll... What's going on with this, then? Right, well... Those two are battling each other really hard. They're constantly passing each other on the start-finish straight. It's Stroll leading for one lap. Then it's Grosjean. Then it's Stroll. And then it changes. Now... They're still about 2.2 back. Not really closing me in. Charles Leclerc just sets the fastest lap of the race while going to win. How cocky. Nah, joking. Good stuff for Charles Leclerc. Picks up his first win of the season. By what looks like a comfortable margin over one of the Mercedes cars. Meanwhile, for us, though, it's going to be an absolute transformation from the last race in Australia. We had the pace in the race. That's what matters. P6, that is absolutely sensational. And my DRS broke across the line. Would you look at that? Lol. Good thing I didn't actually need it. But, yeah, we were, we were rapid in the race. And, and that was the thing. Like, Bahrain, for me, like, the AIs are really difficult. And a lot of, I see, I see it all the time whenever a YouTube uploads a video, you know, next episode at Bahrain. And it's, you know, how difficult are the AIs. But for me, Bahrain is a track I love driving, so it doesn't bother me that much. But um, we do manage to pick up P6, which is absolutely sensational for us. And it's Charles Leclerc that beats Bottas, that beats Vettel uh, in the end. So Charles Leclerc with his first win of the new season, uh, which is incredible for Charles Leclerc. Will he win a race in real life? I expect him to win at least three to be honest um but um that's just me expecting so uh yeah that's that's kind of that but we had the pace like in qualifying we were nowhere but even when we made loads of lunges down the inside of all the cars into one two and three and so forth like when we made the overtakes we weren't on the defensive there was a, a point in the race really where i was on the defensive and you can see from the lap times look a lot of the cars did set faster laps than myself um, but I never really pushed extremely hard, um, and that's kind of the reason why. But as you can see, then it was Charles Leclerc ahead of Bottas, and Sebastian Vettel, and then Lewis Hamilton. And then it's Daniel Ricciardo in the Renault ahead of myself, and then Romain Grosjean. The two racing points of Stroll and Perez come next. Raikkonen doing a great job also for Alfa Romeo and picking up a point, which is sensational. Magnussen misses out. They've got Norris, Verstappen, who had issues in the race. Hulkenberg, both the Williams cars, both Torosos, Carlos Sainz, and then Gasly, who DNF. In terms of the standings wise, well, Lewis Hamilton now leads the World Championship, tied with Vettel on uh, 30 points, ahead of Bottas, Verstappen and Leclerc, then it's Ricardo, Gasly and then myself, Hulkenberg and Grosjean rounding that off. Constructors Championship wise, we move up a couple of places and a few people move down, so it's Mercedes at the top with 58 points, 3 clear of Ferrari. Red Bull next then on 37 points and then it is Renault with 24 points and Alfa Romeo on 10 ahead of Racing Point on 8, 6 and then 4 for Haas and McLaren and then Williams and Toro so are yet to score a point as of yet. Good day today. Tell us about it from your perspective. Oh, got an interview with Claire. Yeah, I did. Um, what really came in handy for me? To be honest, it was the it was the sh it was the chassis more than anything. My power unit wasn't car just stuck straight up the car was just sticking to the racetrack um your team must be thrilled um yeah can do it without a great team behind me straight up alfa romeo for the win boys we are coming for that championship probably not this season probably next season we'll probably try and challenge for the championship this season we i'm trying to aim for at least one victory and uh, my best chances is going to be canada France and Austria to grab one of those because they're my strongest circuits on to race at. So 
that's pretty much where we're at. But having a look then, and uh, you can see that in terms of um, against Kimi Raikkonen, we only actually drew three all in that in that race overall. But in terms of the uh, points or um, resource points, we got ourselves a lot of uh, resource points. We got a team goal bonus as well. So that's six hundred. Fat whoa! Give me all those resource points, baby. I like those. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and we got a lot of stuff there. Nice. All right, cool. So, in terms of that then, we've got 1,442 resource points that we can spend, which is big. Now, if we make a powertrain upgrade, that's going to come for Baku. Am I right? Yeah. So, I'm going to purchase a powertrain upgrade for Baku. Following from that, I'm also going to purchase a general wear upgrade. With the two of those on the car now, we've got 482 resource points left to spend. The chassis upgrade is set to arrive for China. If that fails, we'll have resource points we can spend to get it on the car for Baku. And then obviously we've got this upgrade here for the front wing cascades, which is coming for Baku as well. So at the moment, it's now about starting to save a few resource points. And if something fails here or there, we can work on it. But guys, if you have enjoyed today's episode, it's been a phenomenal episode in my opinion. Uh, feel free to drop a like on the video. You can see we've got two upgrades coming for China, two for Azerbaijan. Feel free to drop it a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well, if you haven't done already done so. And uh, I will see you guys for the next episode where we'll be heading off to the Chinese Grand Prix to try and improve our form heading there. So take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.